I roll with the realest queens Who got peace to part with And they look good to write it And they know what to do with the planting Chase, they ain't shy in the kitchen Real talk, no mission They give words to the cistern And they got that vision They just wanna help a man up in his mission World changes Hello and welcome to Jamelia.com. Now it's coming up to the 1st of February. If you're anything like me, January was a trial month. The whole new year, new me thing hasn't quite happened, but I wanna to talk to you about something that I think will help to motivate and keep you on track to achieving your goals. I really do swear by vision boards. What's a vision board I hear you say? My interpretation of a vision board is a visual representation of all of your heart's desires. It's a motivational tool to inspire and keep you on track and to help you to focus on your goals. I have been vision boarding, well, since childhood, I guess, from having posters up on my wall as a child. When I was 15, I signed my record deal and I made a vision board. I didn't know it was a vision board at the time. At that point, my vision board consisted of the TV shows I'd like to go on, magazines I'd like to be on the cover of, people I'd like to work with, um, the type of venues I'd like to perform in. And so I did that when I was 15. And about two or three years ago, I went through it again. And I just remember being so overwhelmed because I remember realizing, oh my gosh, I've been on every single TV show, every single magazine cover, every performed in every single venue and worked with every single person that I'd written in this book. And to me, that was absolutely crazy, but it was something that reinforced the idea that vision boarding does in fact work. Here's mine. Here's one I made earlier. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this. Um, I used a picture frame that my mom got me for my birthday. And, um, and what I've done, the reason that I used a picture frame is just because I like being able to separate the different areas of my life. Here I've got mind, body, soul, health, wealth, girls, home, legacy, love, travel, career, and relationships. These are the 12 main areas of my life that I'd like to focus on, that I'd like to improve, that I'd like to maintain. And what I've done is I've used different quotes, pictures, and inspirational words that will help me to maintain my focus in these areas. So I'd like to eat a lot healthier this year. I'd like to really focus on happiness and being fit. Um, I'm getting old, I need to ensure I've got here exercise every week. I've got some nice looking fresh, dishes with lots of vegetables. Um, soul, I'd like to do more acting and more writing and um, I've got dancing, but I really just mean like dancing around my kitchen, not professional, no. Um, yeah, and so and each of these different areas are all applicable to me. And that's another thing when making a vision board, remember that it's about you. It's not about anyone else. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else as long as you get it, as long as you look at it and you feel inspired and motivated. But I can absolutely say that vision boarding absolutely works and definitely contributes to your success. There are many successful people who swear by the use of vision boards. People like Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates, Tony Robbins, Russell Simmons. These are people who are hugely successful and they make these. Putting your goals down physically and visually really can make a huge difference. So if you're interested in making your own vision board, I'm gonna show you how I made mine, but here are a few tips before you get started. Tip number one is to set aside some quality time to make your vision board with zero distractions. Don't do it in your lunch break or when you've got half an hour to spare. Make sure you can invest the time in making this vi vi uh -huh. Make sure you can invest the time in making this vision board because it's literally like planning out your life and um, you know, that's, that's quite an important job. So yeah, set aside some quality time to do that. Tip number two is to ensure that you're in a good mood when making your vision board. So play some nice music in the background, maybe have a glass of wine, a bit of chocolate. Um, yeah, just make sure you're in a fantastic mood because your vision board needs to be positive and inspirational and motivational. And you know, so it's kind of like, yeah, you're in cheerleader mode. Tip number three is to create your vision board with the intention of inspiring your future self. Let me explain. So you know when you're having a down day and things aren't really going quite well, 
you're making your vision board for those days and for that version of you. You want to inspire that version of you. You want to say, come on, keep going, stay focused, be motivated by this picture. Remember this, you want to have a, I don't know, you want to have a million pounds or you want to have a boat. I don't know, you might want a boat. Tip number four is to be specific and intentional with your vision board. For instance, if you want a boat, put a picture of a boat on there. If you want a million pounds, put a check for a million pounds. It needs to be instant. When you look at your vision board, you should be able to see it and be like, oh yeah, that's what I'm working towards and kind of realign your focus. Also, you don't have to do a visual vision board. I respond best to visual aids. You might respond better to it being written out. One point I will say is that if you do write it out, write it in present tense. So. I am so happy that I'm a millionaire or I am so in love with my new baby or I don't know what else. I'm so happy that I eat lovely food every day. I don't know, <laughs> but you, you catch my drift. That kind of thing, be intentional, be specific. And again, if you're writing, write it in present tense as if it's already happened. Now, my last tip is possibly the most important tip. Place it somewhere you're going to see it every single day. This is so important because you need constant motivation. I place mine on my bedside table. It's the first thing I see when I open my eyes, last thing I see when I go to bed at night. For me, I require that kind of motivation, that kind of, you know, wake up. It's a reason for me to get up. Obviously, I have my two beautiful daughters who are also a fantastic reason for waking up. But um, yeah, you know, just an extra push. I also take a picture of it on my phone, so it's always there. So when I go to be idle on my phone, I kind of see the vision board and I kind of think to myself, okay, is what you're about to do on your phone working towards anything on this vision board? If not, I just put my phone down. It's a really good kind of like cheerleader, I don't know. <laughs> so let me show you how to make a vision board. So first of all, you're going to need some items. A notebook, assorted pens, papers, a variety of magazines, something to cut them with, glue, some embellishments and a large frame board or even a big piece of paper oh, and somewhere to put the rubbish. Now, first of all, start by making a list of your areas of focus. Put these areas onto separate pieces of paper and spread the papers out. Now it's time to start cutting pictures out of your magazines that apply to each area of focus. This is a great way to utilize all of the magazines you've accumulated over the previous year. When you're done, it's time to start designing your vision board. Now, because each of my sections are fitting into little frames, I'm here designing them and ensuring that they're going to fit. After making the design, I start to stick them down. Here I've chosen people I admire, quotes that inspire me and words that will motivate me. Once I've done that, I've planned where each part is going to go and then I pop them into the frame. And here's the finished article. Then I place my vision board in a prominent place. My daughter's also made vision boards. Here's Tiani's and here's Tasia's. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please do let me know if you make your own vision board. Um, you can you can tag me on Instagram at official Jamelia or on Twitter at Jamelia. I'm not sure if you can tag on YouTube. If you can, tag me. I'd love to see if any of you actually go and make a vision board. It really is a fantastic idea and I can definitely vouch for it and it's working. Um, yeah, please do like, comment and subscribe. I've really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Today's little gem is about focusing on the good. I think we are enduring very trying times at the moment and I think it's very 
easy to get caught up in the negative. At times like this, I think one of the best things you can do for yourself and your mental health is to try and focus on the positive. Be grateful, show gratitude for the things that you already have, for the luxuries that you enjoy. And when I say luxuries, I mean being able to wake up in a nice warm bed, being able to have running water and warm clothes on your back. These are luxuries to uh, millions of people around the world. And um, yeah, I think it's very, very important in times like this to remember how fortunate you are, how lucky you are, and also just how privileged you are and I'd also like to encourage you to use that privilege to helping other people in whatever way you can. Um, that's kind of like two little gems, kind of. But um, yeah, be good, think good, live good. And um, hopefully that means it will all be good. <laughs> See ya. I roll with the realest queens who got peace to part with. And they look good to write it. And they know what to do with the planting. Chase, they ain't shy in the kitchen. Real talk, no mission. They give words to the cistern.